this room sort of came out of one piece of wood. And uh, that piece of wood is over here, mounted on the wall in its new form. When I found it, it was a log that was filled with holes made by a yellow-bellied sap sucker. And um, I took molds of that log and the holes that the bird had bored into that piece of wood and, and decided to interpret it as a kind of a recording left behind. And uh, so each of these pieces is a way of exploring this sort of unknowable message, I guess, that was left by another species. And um, I was also really interested in how woodpeckers, including the yellow-bellied sapsucker, will use items left in the environment by humans, like uh, metal road signs and bits of metal on houses to hammer on. Because when they're hammering, they're not just looking for food. Sometimes they're hammering to sort of mark out their territory. And so that's why I made this. Call and response dialogue between this piece that hammers on the original log that an actual sapsucker hammered on and a road sign that uh, depicts the sapsucker. So in my mind, that's kind of a, it's kind of a cultural evolution, I think. And I think that's an example of um, what uh, living in proximity with other species can offer us. So I wanted to kind of examine how living close to these woodpeckers could uh, augment human culture or influence our own life and uh, interaction with the environment. Uh, each of these is sort of an interpretation of those marks and uh, and what they could potentially mean. That's it. Thanks, everybody.